Hi, Ben here, and welcome back to another Work in Progress Wednesday. So we've been in the workshop and we've been busy getting this last batch of Travisher blades ready. Now we make these Travisher blades for a chap called James Mercer, and he's the Windsor Workshop, so he runs lots of chair making courses, and makes beautiful Windsor chairs, and he also has developed some specialist tools for actually doing the chair making. So a Travisher is basically a curved spoke shave, for want of a better word. So James makes the wooden bodies, and we make the blades for him. So they're a specific curve, and they have to drop into these little wooden bodies that he makes. So what we do is we make the blades, shape them, grind them, heat treat them, and then we're just finally cleaning them up and we're putting the final edge on them. So we're getting the, the final bevels ground, and then we're gonna strop them, and then we're gonna dip them in some protective wax and send them off to James, and he'll assemble them into, blade, into the blades into bodies for finished travishers. He also sells kits for people that actually want to make their own. So yeah, check out check out James's website. Really, we'll put a link in this in this video for you. And if you want to see the Travisher actually in use, we've got a video of us actually using one of the Travishers as well. So we've just got a last few blades to actually put that final edge on. So I'll take this through into the grinding room, and we'll show you how we go about doing it. So we've come through into the grinding room where we're going to use the Radius Master Grinder. And I've set it up so I can use one of these nice curved wheels on the uh, small wheel attachment. And I've worked through a few different grits to get the actual bevel ground on the Travisher. But now I've got the finest grit on there, so this is a nice fine ceramic belt. And I've set the speed on the controller so that it's not running too fast as well. So first of all we're going to flatten the back of the Travisher blade. Like so. So we've got a nice polished back of the blade. And then I'm going to use the curve to match the inside curve of that bevel. So muscle memory will kick in and I'll be able to replicate that angle. And I'm looking until I see a burr being created along the whole length of that cutting edge. And I can see that there's a small burr all the way along now, so I'm happy that that's now got a zero edge on there. We've ground it so that it's sharp, and we just need to remove that burr. So we'll take it through to the next sort of stage, which will be the stropping. So we've come through to my buffer, which I've got various wheels that I use for different things. It's got these what we call pigtails on there, so it means that I can take the wheels off really easily and put fresh wheels on for different applications. So I've got it set up now for my stropping of these blades. So I've got a felt wheel on there and I'm gonna use this polishing compound as my sort of honing agent, apply it to the wheel and then I can remove that burr off the actual blade itself. So turn it on, just apply a bit of that polishing compound. And then the same as when we we're on the grinder, I'm gonna polish the reverse side of the blade to start with. It's important that we keep that compound on the wheel because you can generate quite a lot of heat with the uh, polishing wheels, especially if they become dry. So that's polished the back side and then what we'll do is we'll flip it over and we'll start to polish that inside bevel. So ease off the pressure a little bit and then alternate each side. And you'll notice when I'm working it, I'm always keeping it below the, that center point where it's spinning. It's really important, and also, because the wheel's spinning in this direction, the cutting edge is pointing away from me. You'd soon learn if it was the wrong way around. It's probably the most dangerous machine in the workshop, actually. So we have to be careful when we're using it. So we'll just clean off that compound that's on the blade, just like so, making sure that it doesn't cut our fingers. And then I want to check that that burr has been removed, so I sort of tend to run my fingers off the edge. And I can't feel any burr. And then I test for sharpness, so I push it against my thumbnail. And if it bites in, I know that it's good and sharp. So 
that feels pretty good. So the Travisher blades themselves, they don't have a case because obviously James is going to fit them to the wooden bodies, but I want to protect them while they're in transit. So we'll go through to the next department. I'll show you this protective blade dip that we use. So I've come through to where I've got my little hot plate running and I've got my old saucepan which I've got this protective blade dip. It's, it's like a, a wax with an oil in it. So not only does it protect the tool from obviously being knocked in transit, but it leaves a very thin coating of oil on there as well. So I've got a little fan running so that I don't have to breathe the smoke. And we dip them in, just let the excess drip off. It sets pretty fast, but you just gotta make sure it doesn't drip onto your fingers. So the whole of the blade is covered and then I just place it on a bit of aluminium just to cool down and these have been dipped literally about 30 seconds ago and you can see that they're totally covered in wax I can't cut myself but when you come to actually use the tool it just peels off just like so and it leaves this lovely thin coating of oil on there so perfect for me sending them to James but also when James ships off the Travisher whether it goes across the Atlantic to America or goes off to Australia, it, it, you know that it's going to be protected from any kind of moisture or corrosion in transit. So yeah, the, the protective blade dip works really good. So I peeled that one off, so I'll dip that one again. So that once the wax is all set, we can then use a bit of recycled newspaper. We'll wrap those up, pop them in a box, and get them in the mail to James. I feel like I'm working in a fish and chip shop. So here's a couple of the finished travishes that James makes. So this is one of his maple bodied ones and he also makes them with this amazing black Delrin which he calls his deluxe version. And these are pretty cool because they've got a little brass insert as well so they're even harder wearing. So both both models fit our blades that we make and they come razor sharp ready to ready to use. So traditionally the Travisher is used for chair making for cleaning up the ant seat of a Windsor chair but it can be used for all sorts of applications. I've, I know people that use it for making musical instruments. I use it in the woodwork shop for cleaning up rough sawn timber because I don't like this sawn look and I like to leave a very nice tooled finish on there. So working across the grain, and just pushing across the, the wood with the blade, you get this lovely tooled finish. You get these lovely shavings coming off. And without too much effort, you get the beautiful natural grain of the wood shining through. So that's what we've been busy working on this Wednesday. So if you want to see other interesting woodworking tools that we've been making, check out our channel. And for any further information about the Travishers, we'll put a link to James's website and you'll be able to see his chair making courses and his tools and things like that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing what we've been up to and tune in next week for, for some more Work in Progress Wednesday.